This is gonna be so good. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Man, I miss feet. I really thought we had something going on. No. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. Absolutely. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Final episode, bitches. Let's kick some butt. Time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I'm so excited. We are in the final episode, guys. Wow. What a journey, man. I've been dying to get to the ending. And here we are finally, so... I'm excited. Are correct. You haven't had a lot of rest recently. Asshole, I hate this. Please, I Sheriff. Hate this guy. Just relax give for a moment, will you? No. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? No. Vivian makes a very nice, very. It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Here for I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like you. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Exactly. Sit down, Jersey. Fucking cunt. Well, Sheriff. Bolded. Bolded. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do yeah, like to take their the shots at me. You're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion, and I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. 
It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. Why I just want so to decent? set an issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. What do no, you mean? No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? Shut up, no neck bitch. No one likes the man you. said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> you're nothing more That's than enough. enough. Man, you're I losing like four, four, four teeth but there in your mouth. So in shut the interest the of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down. Exactly. Now. Sit down, asshole. No one likes you. Fucking retro asshole. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, it does, the please. fact is. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks this! You're just gonna let him do this! I don't trust the crooked man. I trust this. So what do you reason. say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck, fuck, fuck is punch. this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that all at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, he's but die. he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. We're gonna have issues to now. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh no. No. No, I hate her. No. Anyone but her. Oh my god, I hate her <laughs> so much. Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. It's time to battle this bitch. Oh, no, no. Oh, everyone's turning. Oh, right. It was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Yeah, nice. Did his insides out is it? Go after that, good man. 
just break his neck already. Yeah, just, just, just fucking him. Fuck this asshole. That was nice. Just go. Hey. Come on, Dorothy. Oh, shit. I know. Is everyone running with us? Fuck. Just grab onto it, grab onto it. Yeah, yes, yes, boy, yes, boy. Yes, boy, yes, that's my man. My man. Go, 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 wasting my time looking in the car. There's nothing I can search here. Come on! We can't stay here. Uh, hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? <coughs> it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <coughs> Oh, Are they like white it's lovers? It's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? Shit. Hello, Big B. I hope you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course... You're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff? I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. I should have gotten the cooking. You're gonna man. carry me? I regret. Yeah. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. Why He's dying. Him? You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. 
It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure That's they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. That's not You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered... Of course it does. Those girls... So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... mean it. Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <sighs> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. Yeah, but you And then he too. fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and you made you go through trigger, with it. You... Okay, Ryan, I get what you believe mean. what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Dirty don't. That's it was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die... He loves her. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that, but did it have to be like this? Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can... talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone Whoa. thinking that they can just... Do what they want with my life. I thought no. it would be different here. Don't you dare but open it's that. all the fucking sense. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. 
I look at Narissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't oh pretend God, anymore. So what are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Oh. Oh. Look at Vivian! That. No! Fuck! No, 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 no! I fucked up. Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Damn it! Oh my god, that's fucked. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. Oh I was just. Uh, He's gonna uh, die too, huh? Oh. oh my god, I feel so sad. Oh no. Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Big B. This is so sad. Oh my god, he's got the... I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just to make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Can I restart? Fuck this, can I restart? Really fuck him up for me, alright? For both of us. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Oh my God! This you want to so finish me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first, rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. Oh my god. I, know what. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. <laughs> no, why would. Oh no. Oh my god. I cannot, I cannot let my hands get dirty, okay? I cannot, I cannot, I'm sorry, I cannot. Don't say I chose to let him suffer, come on! What? You're just gonna leave me here! I won't be a killer. I won't be a killer, Georgie. You selfish bastard. Yes. Fuck you! Thank you. Piece of shit! so sad. What have I done? I fucked up. Time to deal with Bloody Mary and and the Crooked Man. Oh my God! As if one fucker was not enough. Bloody Mary is already enough difficulty. She's messed up. She's just fucked in the head, man. Still warm. Nice. He's here, all right. Sending these. The best safety device is a careful worker. <laughs> nice. What an amazing entry. Oh my 
god, this does not look like a good idea. Someone's gonna melt in all that big metal. Wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. Shut the fuck up, Lady Mary. No one likes you. Wow. What the fuck? Oh my god. It's, is someone in love with me? Is that it? They used to fear you. Someone's in love with me, in it? It looks like it's a jealous bitch. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would be. Oh, that's the symbol. That's the torture device. What else? Is there somewhere I gotta go? Oh, is it? Is it? Is it here? Oh, yeah. Bro, this is complicated. But I have some business to attend to. Hit me, hand. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Hit me with your Come own find hands. Me when you're finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of Fucking my way pussy. now. Don't make oh, this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Didn't your mother teach you not to kill oh, people? Oh, was she too busy bitch? fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Fucking punch her, la. Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Is that the best you can do? Yeah, exactly. Fucking claw the shit out of her. Oh, this bitch is a mirror. Yeah, yeah correct. She can disappear. She can disappear. Down. How much gonna push me? Why can't my night vision work? Oh, oh, oh I can move. Not bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Was there a skip of a uh, scene or something? I felt like it. Bitch. 
as a man oh my god look at me i got this i got this i'm amazing yes my man come on my man you got this better not fucking die man there you go that could you got cheap right Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. 
You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. At least for the time being. It's no way the bad you guy now. You will bring now. me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Why the whole town that? will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Then what are you? If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. Yeah, I don't There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because Fair I'm enough. not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Fair enough. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. He's up to something. You're He's often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where did the Where this scene case change? Is Justice. Do you really want the truth? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. I don't trust. I don't trust. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd okay. want to keep you around. Shut the fuck You're up. under arrest. I'm a majestic, given a trial in front adorable of your peers. pup, okay? Please. <clears throat> I can huff and puff and, your and blow you bitches down. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I, why didn't I get to see more of him being an actual wolf? Like, it's so cute. It's so adorable. I, know, I, I know. want a pet but like that. We have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. I'm fine. At the crooked man's place. I'm always it's fine. It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You yeah. did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. You're alive. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Yeah, because you love me, I know. Eh. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. Oh, what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do me? this to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man a... is charged with the murder as of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, a it was Mr. Piece. Georgie Pord who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them. But you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? 
Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. So Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. But listen to my woman then. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes. Thank you. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second. Like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're in- Everyone hey. just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? We- the Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it, we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. Yeah, no more snap sites. judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You don't have to uncuff him. You don't have to uncuff him. He could speak without with his hands still cuffed. Well, you have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? I, I Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You did not. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... That any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. 
When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, snivelling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You didn't... You didn't... We didn't abandon anyone. We'd been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. When she, she left end up everything here? she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much, but they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. Oh, it had shit. nothing to do with a Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Where's the other guy? Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him. Even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Aha. Uh -huh. So everyone understands now. Very good. Very good. Thanks. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think smart. such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? What about your, what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of mean... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes! Of course! Right. Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for George's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just Snow let that evil. go? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, 
You won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely oh different. God. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to... Bluebeard, please. That's I not true. I mean, a true. certain level of privilege should be afforded to... Three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Excuse me. I... Yeah. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. She Bluebeard. Can't see it. What? She has something, she to, has say. something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut you. up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. She can do it now. She can but pull you know it what? Now. now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa! I know. My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So, that's it, right? Run down the witching well! No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. And so quick to beach. latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. Done. What, you, you take two shit. people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, Just but we don't have to kill anybody. Yeah, I don't have we to. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone. Again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. there will be more if he isn't he stopped. I don't yes. so so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Snow Look, should Snow should decide what we do with him. She's going to be the deputy mayor. But so. she's not the deputy mayor yet. Shut the fuck up. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right.
Yes, Sheriff. Lock Did what up. you think is right. Everyone, I'm, I'm not this way. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. No. <laughs> There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Lock him up. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you That's can't be serious. What he's done? You're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. You can't be killing everyone. We have enough right. people. Do it. Just put a ribbon on here, motherfucker. One day later. Oh my god, can I get any sleep? Will I be able to get any kind of sleep? I'm so tired, look at me. He's a fucking <laughs> crow. Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Work is work, I guess. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. He's okay. very suspicious, Great. I don't know. He's so suspicious. I don't like him for some reason. He's just so... This fucking line. Lolis guy. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Wolf. Flycatcher left his keys. Everything okay? Is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Oh my god, very suspicious. Very suspicious. Maybe she just wanted to be a deputy mayor. That's why this all happened. Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Wait, are they having an affair? Maybe they're having an affair. I... I don't know. I uh, Something's very fishy. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. What? No one's talking? Everyone's... What? I swear to God... If this goes against me, or if this was a plot to, to go against me... Everyone's being so sus. Oh, they have. Oh, Colin. Jesus. They oh, they have to leave. No. We only have like five minutes. Oh, that's why the big is angry. Carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ah, shit. I tried to. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. You could have given that bundle of money that I had. Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, if you could bring it to her, what is she it? was nice. What is it? I couldn't take them all with me. And she said she liked that one the best. Is it a butterfly? Oh, it's a butterfly. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. So cute. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? 
I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Why do we have to say Bye, that? Mr. Wolf. No. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Collie? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. Yeah, he must have run off. Bull. No, wait. Shit. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Yeah, why does Colin? I mean, Colin get to go. I mean, get to stay. Saying goodbye. There is a. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... I understand. It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. Oh my god. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? Who did she kill? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club... Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. Oh my god. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh my god. Amazing. I walked her over here. The and I left her. Ring in her mouth. So that ring in her mouth. That was you? Yeah. I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, 
We do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. Of course. You listened I'm amazing. when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been yeah. given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks. I guess. Did you go to you are that not even? as bad as everyone says you are. <gasps> Oh shit. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Exactly. Too. What high so she oh my speak god. Kingdom. They used to call me. Is he using a Dr. glamour? Dr. Ever get back to you about he said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Go after her. Is that I'll see it? Oh shit! <laughs> no way, bro! Oh my god, okay, hold on. Let me just check out all these things. Okay, I helped him avoid the farm, but he's not talking to me. Colin. I offered but butcher protection. Georgie died. Auntie Greenleaf got a job. Crooked man, yeah, crooked man got imprisoned. Holly, I interrupted the funeral. Snow, promised to bring the crooked man alive. You brought her along with you to the trick trap. I thought something was going on between me and Snow, you know. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. Toad, you stood up for him and Snow wanted to send him to the farm. Oh my god. So that's Faith the whole time. I knew it. The last time when Nerissa asked like, hey, do you like my ribbon or something like that, I remember. And the first thing I thought was like, hey, that's the same thing Faith asked. So this was Faith. So this is probably Faith. Huh? We didn't really find Faith's body. We only found her head. So maybe that head was glamoured. I maybe. But that's fucking amazing, man. Fucking amazing. Fucking uh, I love this. I love this so much. Oh. This was an amazing game, guys. I hope you enjoyed the series as much as I did and um do make sure you stay around for more videos from me. I'll be uploading frequently and I also stream frequently. So do 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 subscribe to me and um, turn on your notifications so you will be notified whenever I record something and post it or when I'm streaming. So yeah, 
thanks for watching guys i i'm 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 just i'm just you know i i cannot i cannot speak because like the, the ending is pretty it, it's a nice it's a nice story i love this i can understand why people actually like this game now i understand so yeah guys so thanks again for watching till then bye ciao